I'm not sure that this thing needs a whole lot of introduction, but I'm not gonna wax too poetic. This is the GMC Hummer EV, and I'm about to take a first look. The old nameplate that stood for everything Arnold Schwarzenegger would drive in Beverly Hills is back, only this time not as a gas-guzzling military vehicle. This time it returns as an all-electric pickup truck first, followed by an SUV. So off the bat, how does it look? Well, it's bold, it's angular, it's weird, it's futuristic. This looks like something G.I. Joe might take his granddaughter to soccer in. What do you guys think? Take your time. To me, I see shades of the short-lived Lamborghini LM2, as well as the Avalanche. But since neither of those are in production anymore and certainly weren't electric, this sucker will go up against the likes of the Rivian RT1, the Bollinger, and that wedge salad from Tesla, the Cybertruck, that may or may not ever be made. The greenhouse is impossibly small, but don't worry. The roof panels that are transparent can be removed and stored in the Hummer's front truck. There is a crew cab that offers abundant space for passengers. And the five-foot truck bed will serve nicely. Thanks. So in the rear, it's got the GMC Multi-Pro tailgate. It's got a power window back there, and it's said to come with a power tonneau cover. Those are all very handy things indeed. In addition to all the creature interior comfort options that will show up in the cabin for you and your passengers, there's a 13.4-inch infotainment screen and a 12.3-inch driver display. Speaking of drivers, it has a lot of different drive modes that divvy up the torque among all four wheels, depending on conditions. It gets four-wheel steering settings and a terrain mode that raises the Hummer's height nearly two inches. If driving diagonally sounds highly maneuverable and interesting to you, then crab walk is something that you should look out for here. Because this thing has it, as well as an adaptive air suspension and something called extract mode that can raise the suspension about six inches to navigate extreme off-road situations. So if Micah does not let me do the first drive on this one, I might have to poison his lunch. When we do get to drive it, GMC promises up to 1,000 horsepower and 11,500 pound-feet of torque depending on which edition you buy. Excuse me, did I just say 11,500 pound-feet of torque? I did, but don't get too worked up. It's likely that GM is using wheel torque numbers in Newton meters and not engine torque and that will inflate that number. We're expecting somewhere closer to the 800 to 1,000 range. Still, the power from this thing seems like it's going to be majorly impressive. Other amazing things that might fry your eyeballs out of your head are the Hummer's extensive underbody armor and ultravision. These are cameras under and around the truck that act as virtual spotters out on the trail. And just to keep things interesting, GMC is claiming a range of 250 to 350 miles. It's also said to have the ability to charge about 100 miles in 10 minutes with an 800 volt DC fast charger. You won't even have time to stand in line for your Slurpee. Add on the latest version of Super Cruise and I don't know what to tell you, this thing might be just a mirage and I'm about to die of dehydration in the desert right now. GMC certainly is making all of us automotive journalists froth at the mouth to get on the first drive for this one. I almost forgot about the zero to 60 times of about three seconds. My bad. The Hummer EV Edition 1 launches first in 2022 to the tune of about $112,600. The Hummer EV becomes available in the spring of 2024 with a starting price of about 80 grand. Time to start saving your pennies now. Had time to decide what you think about it? No? Well, keep looking. I know that I'm gonna be talking about this as much as humanly possible. And Micah, might be time to get yourself a food taster.